What happens when two areas of air have different pressures? Air pressure changes with elevation. At sea level, the mass of a column of air from one cubic centimeter of Earth's surface to the top of the atmosphere has a mass of about one kilogram. Air pressure declines rapidly as you go through the atmosphere. At the top of Mount Everest, 90% of the air on Earth is below you. That means that the other 10% of Earth's atmosphere is spread over the next 500 85 kilometers or so. Air pressure is affected by other factors as well. When air warms, it expands, becoming less dense. Air that is infused with smaller, lighter particles, such as water vapor, is less dense. Air that is less dense pushes with less pressure. Because the atmosphere is dynamic, masses of air may be warm and moist, creating regions of reduced air pressure. Other areas may cool, creating more dense, high pressure air masses. When high pressure air masses interact with low pressure air masses, interesting weather results. Air pressure data are of the greatest importance to meteorologists. Based on the magnitude of pressure differences and the movement of high pressure and low pressure air masses across the land, meteorologists can forecast future weather events. Differences in air pressure contribute to wind. Air is everywhere, so the potential for wind is universal. Energy to move air around is in good supply as well. The energy that is responsible for moving air comes from the sun. If there's a high pressure in one area and low pressure in another place, air will tend to move from the high pressure place to the low pressure place because the air particles are always moving and will equalize pressure, reaching equilibrium when possible. Movement of air creates wind. Isobars are lines on pressure maps that indicate areas of different air pressure by connecting pressure readings across the area being analyzed. The pattern of isobars indicate areas of high pressure and low pressure. If the low and high pressure areas are far apart or the difference in air pressure is slight, the pressure gradient, meaning the difference between the high and low pressure, will be meager or lacking. And the associated wind is only a breeze. If the high and low pressure areas are close together and the pressure gradient is great, the associated wind could develop into a gale.